Hey, it's Peach Doom Man, and we're about to start our final run against the Elite Four. This is the Elite Four rematch. It's the final test of our Nuzlocke run. This is it. Two or three episodes, and we're done. Before we get started, I want to show you a little bit of what I did. Everyone's level 70. Um, the only hold items I have are Chap with uh, the King's Rock, so we can try to stun more with Stomp, and Synthetic Orchestra with the Never Melt Ice, just to make Ice Beam this incredibly powerful weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone's level 70. Did I say that already? That's what we grinded to uh, on the last episode, but I also adjusted people's moves, and I, I'm not sure how fast that speed up's gonna look. So, in case you didn't see what I did move set wise Ego Raptor, the Machamp, uh, I gave him Brick Break over Karate Chop, and I also uh, got rid of his strength to teach him the Body Slam from that move tutor. Uh, Jay Wits, uh, is pretty much just there to use Psychic, but I also taught him Ghost uh, Ball. I mean, Shadow Ball. Ghost Ball. Sh Ghost Ball. Shadow Ball and Shockwave, just as alternative options in case we need another electric move or another... Uh, actually, I think Shadow Ball might come into play. That's the one we were calling now is Ghost Ball. Uh, Chap, I taught Flamethrower over Ember using uh, coins from Celadon City, and I also got rid of Fire Blast for Overheat, because I think that's going to work better for the purposes that I want to use Chap against the Elite Four. Uh, synthetic Orchestra, like I said before, I was going to replace Waterfall with Thunder, and I did. The idea being that I can just use Synthetic Orchestra against Lance the whole time by thundering against Gyarados. Uh, Chugga Conroy, I didn't change at all. I could have gotten rid of Fly for something else, like, I don't know, Steel Wing, but um, I still kind of needed the utility of Fly. So I think Tucker Conroy is fine as he as he is with Drill Peck and Double Edge mm -hmm. and Aerial Ace. Seamus, uh, I decided to replace Sand Attack with Toxic just because, I don't know, Toxic's always a really great strategy if you need a backup plan. So uh, that's what I've got. This is my team. Time to take on the Elite Four for the last time. We're going to start off with Ego Raptor. Now we actually have a good Pokemon to fight Lorelei with. The plan is to use Ego Raptor to just blast everything down with fighting moves. Um, when she switches to Slowbro, we'll switch to Jay Witch with Shadow Ball or Shockwave. And when she switches to Jinx, we'll uh, probably bring out Chap. All right. Chappin. I don't know if they have different dialogue for the rematch. Let's see here. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I, Lorelei of the Elite Four, have returned! Alright. You know how it goes. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokémon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokémon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha ha ha! Are you ready? More ready than I was last time, I Is think, that, baby. Like, her original accent? No, I totally made it up! No, 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 no. I mean, the her original accent the first time you fought her. No, the first time I fought her, like, I had a different voice at first, and then it slipped into that on accident, and, okay. then, I, and then I rolled with it. It's like, remember, I was like, this is my true accent, was oh, the whole yeah. thing. And there goes Dugong. Oh, Bam! Ch crushed. I barely even got to look at it. Yeah, it just died. <laughs> you said this was going to be more of a challenge. Well, the rival will be. The rival's going to out-level us mm, with everything. Because okay. the rival's Pokemon go up to, like, level 75. I don't think there's one below 71. So yeah, the rival is going to be the big challenge. This is not so bad so far. Okay, there's the Jinx. We can't use Ego Raptor against Jinx because of psychic moves and because it's psychic type. So we're going to switch to Chap. All right, Lovely Kiss. Good at miss. Lovely Kiss actually has a pretty good accuracy, so we keep getting lucky with that missing. Overheat! Kaboom! Boom, bitch. That just has way more. That has way more power and more accuracy than Fire Blast, and that's what I really needed out of Chab was a big, explosive fire move, especially for what I want to use against Bruno. So that takes care of that. Pillow Swine is one of her new ones. Pillow Swine. Uh, I could just keep using Chab, but the thing is, the that's the drawback of of Overheat is after I've used Overheat, it's kind of like basically she's done. So it's not Mamoswine? No, Mamoswine doesn't exist yet. Oh. Mamoswine was a fourth gen creation. Huh. Uh-oh, I missed with Cross Chop. That's bad. I'll be able to live this Earthquake, but I might have to come up with a different plan. Um, unless I get crit. Let's switch to the Synthetic Orchestra and use Surf. That'll work because this thing is uh, ground type. 
da, 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 da. Now, I don't know if she still has her slow bro or not. I'm not sure what her last thing will be. Da, Maybe it's da, 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 da. She might have replaced her slow bro with pillow swine. A lot of these guys have like a new thing and they like, they replace one of their old things. They make the rematch Elite Fours, I think, in future gens actually tougher because they like add it. So like everybody has like six Pokemon. Cloister. Let's go with Thunder. Ah, I missed. And I don't want to waste too many Thunders because I'm going to leave them for that. Oh! <laughs> yes! He used Rain Dance. Rain Dance makes Thunder unable to miss. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kaboom! Way to screw yourself over. And these guys have, like, no special defense. He's toast. Literally. Yeah. What? He's not literally toast. Well, if you get hit by lightning, you're literally toast. Well, not you're not a piece of bread that has been warmed to eating perfection. You're literally toasted. Things shouldn't be this way. Like, whoa, you pretty much blasted through all my Pokemon. I think being toast is the same as being crisped. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. I'm not sure how I'm gonna make the, how long I'm gonna make this episode. Like, it's I mean, we're just gonna roll with it. We're gonna see like maybe things will go incredibly well each time, or maybe it'll be like, oh, we gotta stop here because hey, look, three people died against Lance again. Who knows? Okay, next is Bruno. Bruno has is gonna open, I think, with a Steelix now. So my plan. Oh my god. His name makes me want to have pizza. Okay. Because we had a restaurant called Bruno's Pizza. All right. Yeah. In any case, I'm going to really oh, oh, I'm gonna chap and use overheat on Steelix, try to get rid of it. And then I want to see if I can stick with chap by using bounce on Bruno's fly on fighting Pokemon. So I just don't have to, I can eliminate switching. On Bruno's it, it could pizza. have a really bad drawback because of low defense or if I miss with overheat. So, but that's my plan. I am Bruno, the Elite Four. With rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I've lived and trained with my. Wait, I told you all this spiel before. Why am I repeating it? Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna punch you now with my with my Pokemon. It's a poke punch. Poke punch. You know, it's like when you poke someone so hard with your fist, you bruise them. There's a Steelix. Nice. And here is my chap. Chap. Overheat should kill it if I hit. It has a 10% miss chance, but that didn't happen. And then Bounce is not going to be affected by the drawbacks of Overheat. Because Overheat lowers special attack, but Bounce is a physical attack. The only yeah. thing is, I don't think Bounce is strong enough to kill a lot of his fighting types. This Steelix looks so much different than the Steelix in the newer games. Oh, he has another Steelix. I actually was not expecting that. Ha ha ha! Alright, we're going to have to switch to Synthetic Orchestra. We have tricked you! Yeah, I... I somehow I forgot that he he would have two Steelix. If he uses a Steel type move, that could devastate Synthetic Orchestra. But I think one Surf is going to be enough to kill it. We got to be careful though, because I really need to save Synthetic Orchestra for Lance. If I don't have Synthetic Orchestra for Lance, that's terrible. How much you want? Bet he's going to throw out another Steelix. No, oh. because he had two Onyx. I'm guessing now he's just going to have his regular lineup: Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, Hitmon uh, Machamp. Hitmon, Hitmon Machamp. Machamp. All right, I'm going to switch now to Chaga Conroy. I'm going to try to drill peck the rest of this team. Sky Uppercut. Was not expecting that. It shouldn't hurt too badly. Hurt more than I thought it would. If he uses a Thunder Punch or an Ice Punch, that might be it for Chaga Conroy. Okay, Chaga Conroy got through this one. I don't think I have, I'm going to have an opportunity to heal here. I'm going to have to hope that Chugga Conroy can just ace all these down with Drill Peck. If any of these Drill Picks don't kill something, uh, it might be it for Chugga Conroy. Oh man, Chugga Conroy wants to live. Chugga Conroy wants to kill it all. all Gotta right. kill it all. Gotta, Gotta kill, kill it all. all. Gotta kill it all. Gotta kill it Now we got Machamp. And Gotta it's level 68. All, See, like... This is why I was thinking about raising everything to 75, just for this extra cushion of safety, but we decided to make it more interesting uh, in the finale. Well, that's it for Chugga Conroy. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. I, I knew that would be coming up if if he got hit at all. Well, you know, it's better than having a boring game where you just kill everything. Yeah, it's too bad, because Chugga Conroy's really reliable. He would have been helpful. Um, actually, he would have been supremely helpful against the rivals, so it kind of sucks that we lost him. I should have done more to try to protect him. All so right, that's it for Bruno. Good long run. 
Our plan for Agatha is to try to ace it all down with Jaywitz. Psychic is good against everything she has except for her newly added Mischievous. But that's what I have Shadow Ball for, because Ghost is good against Ghost. I'm relying, though, on Jaywitz surviving everything or being faster than everything and blasting it down with one Psychic. If that doesn't happen, Jaywitz is done. Because Jaywitz is not very defensive, nor does he have much HP. Um, I want to see really quick if anyone can learn Aerial Ace, because that could be really important in the fight against the rival later on. Can anyone learn Aerial Ace? Seamus could learn it. That's something I'm going to think about in the future um, when we get to that point. I just noticed the, the song they use in here is like the Rocket bass song. Hmm. Maybe it's specifically in Bruno's room. I'm not sure. Bruno's secretly a Team Rocket member. I think he actually was a Team Rocket member in the uh, the original manga. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's because now it's playing the Lavender Town theme because it's Agatha's place. All right, Agatha. I am Agatha, the Elite Four. You're the child that Oak's taken under his wing, aren't you? That old duck. Wait, we already went over this, and I decided that you were right all along. I'm just having a senior moment and forgetting that we had this conversation already. <laughs> okay. I'm really relying on Jay Wits to just blast this all down. If he gets hit with any of these ghost moves, he's pretty much done. So, show him what we got. Boom! Psychic! I've got over 200 special. Uh, Psychic is aligned with my type. It's an incredibly powerful move. I'm hoping this is just going to be what I need. I'm guessing Mistrevis is coming out. Crobat? Crobat probably outspeeds me is why. No! Jay Wits! Jay Wits is a teleporting motherfucker. He's faster than the Crobat. Psychic type Pokemon tend to be super fast because they can teleport. You know, it just mm -hmm. makes sense. All right, what do we got? Gengar. This is her highest level Pokemon, which is probably what she's going for. She's probably hoping it can take this Psychic hit. You know, Mischievous would be her only thing that's not weak to Psychic, but the thing is, Mischievous is kind of a weak Pokemon. It didn't really become all that great until it gained its evolution um, in 4th Gen with Miss Magius. Mm -hmm. There's the Mischievous, and now we're going to oh, use Shadow Ball. Shadow like Ball! Boom! This might not kill it since I'm not Ghost-type. But it did, because <laughs> I got a crit. Okay, Jay Wits is, is living up to everything I hoped he would be. Yay. I am really sad, actually, about losing Chugga Conroy. Chabuck. Uh, Psychic, and that should be it. Agatha wound up being a total pushover this time. Just, Jay Wits took it all down. All right. Oh my, you're something special, child. I mean, holy crap, you took everything down in one hit. <laughs> All right, next is Lance. With Synthetic Orchestra now knowing uh, Thunder, I'm just hoping that Synthetic Orchestra can take everything out. Once again, the big problem is going to be the Aerodactyl. If, if I can't take out Aerodactyl, everything else is going to have trouble with it. Um, Gyarados, I'm going to try to Thunder down. And then the one new thing I think Lance has is a Kingdra. And that could be a problem, because I don't have anything super effective against it. I'm just going with powering through with ice beams. Um, so we'll see how this goes. It could go really well, or it could be a bit of a struggle. We'll see. Ah, so you've returned, Pizza. I lead the Elite Four. Um, I don't know why I'm reintroducing myself, but all of my colleagues are, so I thought you, I would as well. I feel like this is just some kind of tradition. Probably. That they introduce themselves to everybody. Uh huh. Leap for Lance. There's the Gyarados. He, belong, he looks like he belongs in a different game. Don't you think? What? Well, maybe. Totally. All right. Thunder. Thunder is four times effective against Gyarados, but that's what I said also when I used uh, Game Grump the Voltorb against it. Even so, it really shouldn't live, and it didn't. So yay. That takes care of that. Kingdra or, or Aerodactyl? Aerodactyl. Ice Beam is super effective. And I have the Never Melt Ice. The problem is this thing's speed. And that killed like half the team last time. If this crits, if Ancient Power crits, I'm pretty much toast. As it is, um, that did a ton of damage. 
if this ice beam doesn't kill it, I'm basically stuck um, healing the synthetic orchestra. Oh! Yeah. Now I am stuck. Actually, he's probably going to heal. It's a risk. There's no point. I might as well heal if he heals, because if he doesn't heal, then I'm fucked. So I should just heal. Um, basically, though, I'm stuck in this loop now of switching between Ice Beam and healing until either I crit and it dies, she crits and I die, or it runs out of PP for Ancient Power, which P Ancient Power only has 5 PP. Did you just call that Aerodactyl a she? I don't know. I just tend to think of Pterodactyls as females. I do. I know. Is it, is it that because of... I don't even know what... I don't know why, could... okay? No, I'm not, like, meaning that in a mean way. You know why I think? it's? I think it's because of We're Back. Oh, yeah. Because the pterodactyl in We're sense. Back was female. I was gonna say, like... Because it's not... I know it's not the case on not... Land Before Time. Yeah. But I, I actually, just by pure coincidence, as a kid, I saw more of We're Back than Land Before Time. Because they showed that on the TV specials all the time. Oh, really? We're Back? Oh, yeah. Dude, I just... My family owned that movie, so I watched it a ton. Okay, I gotta hope I can live Hyper Beam. I should be able to, but I'm not guaranteeing oh, it. Oh, I love Dragonite. Okay, he won't be able to attack, so I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam now, and then I'll heal next turn. Dragonite looks like a super special Charizard. <laughs> and I love it so much. I mean, doesn't it? Yeah, I, <laughs> I see what you're saying. Oh, it's another one! Yes, this one's much lower level, though. Aren't those supposed to be rare? What, Dragonites? Yeah. Well, yeah, but he's the Dragon Trainer Lance. So, like, you just got two Dragonites? Yeah. Are they opposite genders, or are they the same? I don't know. Because if they're opposite, he could breed them. Well, I guess he could have a happy Dragonite family. In second gen, he's the champion, and on his team, he has three Dragonites. Holy fuck! Which, the funniest thing about his three Dragonites in 2nd Gen, none of them are actually high enough leveled to be a Dragonite. The funny thing is, the fact that he has three Dragonites basically makes him the same as, like, Daenerys Targaryen from, like... Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. Okay. He's the daddy of the dragons. See, this is the thing. Yay. I didn't think the Kingdra would have anything to use against me, and it doesn't. It has Surf. Mm. It's, it's showing me that Surf is the best move it can use against me, and that's double not very effective. Because I'm a Water Ice type. And that's it. Lance is done. Woo! Okay, at this point, the, at the timing of the episode is still about the length of as, as a regular episode, but all we have left is the rival. So I'm just going to turn this into the long, big finale episode. That's, that's what this is. We're going to do the entire Elite Four and Champion in this episode. Now, before we move on, I'm going to make one change here. We're going to fight the rival. The rival is going to start, I think, with Heracross. And that's like one of his new Pokemon. So I'm going to teach Aerial Ace to Seamus uh, over um, over Swift. Because they kind of accomplish the same thing anyway. And I think this is actually... No, it's equal in power, isn't it? Uh, and that's going to be helpful against Heracross because it's it'll be four times a week. So we're going to replace Swift with Aerial Ace. Isaac? Yes, Rosie? The marshmallows in my hot cocoa melted. Well, that, that's what'll happen. Sucks. Okay.